Why would anyone move out of their country to go to a foreign land, a foreign country? Well, I don't know. I guess life just happens. What's up guys? Welcome back to Akot TV and if you're new here, my name is Akot and this channel is all about immigration and lifestyle. If that is your kind of content, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell so as soon as I upload you're instantly notified. Well, I did a video some time back giving you guys reasons why you should consider moving to Canada. Well, this time around, we're looking at the other side of the coin. Why you should not move to Canada. For the other video I did giving you guys reasons why you should move to Canada, I'm actually going to share the link in the description box. So after watching this, you can go back to the video and check. So you'll have like um, two sides of the story, why you should go to Canada and why you should not go to Canada. And then with the uh, two videos and points opposing and supporting you can then make your own judgment and decide whether canada is for you or not so i will share the video in the description box so now let's look at reasons why you should actually really seriously not move to canada reason number one canada is cold always like this place is ice cold all the time summer only lasts six weeks with brutal heat so imagine coming from Africa or a country where, you know, most of the year you experience or you enjoy the warmth, the heat of the sun, the beaches. And then suddenly you move to Canada where there's almost, where it's almost always cold. Like this place is cold for most time in the year. You will freeze. For the first six months, I think you'll just... You'll probably not even go to work. You'll get sick. So don't go to Canada. It's too cold there. Hmm? Hmm. Another reason why you should not move to Canada is Canada's nightlife. Canada's nightlife is boring. Canadians like peace. No noise. Easy. Relax. Let's chill in the house. We'll be fine. So if you're someone who likes partying, going out, disco dancing, you'll get bored. <laughs> You will get bored. Don't go to Canada. Hmm? Just stay where you are, your home country, and enjoy your disco and nightlife. But if you want to get bored until you can't think, then move to Canada and enjoy many nights of good sleep. If you move to Canada as a businessman and then you are trying to set up your business, hey, it's tough. Setting up a business in Canada is tough. You will have to look forward to hard work. You will have to work so hard in planning. You have to put up with the banks, consultants, agents, accountants. Before you are done planning and everything is running, you will sweat. I mean, Canada is not a place where you go and then you get a business space, an office somewhere. You go get your license, you put it up there and then you are done. Good to go. Uh -uh. You will work so hard. By the time you're almost getting your business up and running, you'll probably start packing and go back home. So if you're a businessman, you're in your country right now, and your business is doing well, and you're living a good life, continue living that good life. Don't go to Canada and start all over again. Hmm? Don't say I didn't tell you. And hey, another thing, you can't get away from tax. You have to pay tax every April of every year you'll pay tax you will make receiver general for canada your best friend because you will need them for the rest of your long life in canada canada does not care if you're a qualified professional it doesn't matter you could be having a phd but my friend once you land in canada you'll have to go back to school do even a short course and then that way, you'll be absorbed into the system. But you carry your master's and your PhDs and you're like, yeah, I am doctor so-and-so. I should get a job like this. You'll be lying to yourself. So if you're moving to Canada, if you choose to move to Canada and you have a PhD 
or a master's or whatever level of education. You have to humble yourself and start from the beginnings. If you have to sweep, you will sweep. If you have to carry luggage, you will carry luggage. Go back to school for at least six months. Study something, then look for a proper job. And especially if you are in an occupation which is highly, highly regulated, like you're a medic, you're a doctor, you're a nurse, they will send you back to school. They will take you back to school. You have to qualify according to Canadian standards. Okay? So if you choose, I'm telling you, don't go to Canada, but if you choose, just humble yourself and start from the beginning. Humble beginnings, just like everyone else does. But who knows? You could be lucky. You never know. There's a God. Your educational credentials will have to be assessed and your work experience evaluated by the provincial authorities. My friend, you'll have to go through some tough work. So keep it in mind and keep reminding yourself. If you've decided to go to Canada, hmm, you'll have to be humble. Don't go carrying your PhDs. You'll have to be humble and just start from ground basic start all over again and then grow from there the best thing is once you start from the humble beginnings and you start growing life becomes super good for six months one year you will sweat but then after that things will pick up and then you will live happily ever after i'm telling you this place is nasty don't go to canada do you know if you're in canada even to go and buy a packet of milk you have to drive back in your home country you want to buy a packet of milk maybe bread small shopping kind of thing you just walk to the supermarket you just walk to the shop or the kiosk wherever you'll go and buy it's just next to your doorstep but in canada you will get into your car and drive to just go and buy milk and as you're driving you're using fuel you're going to buy milk like even if you're to save how do you save if going to the supermarket alone or going to a shop, even a tiny shop, you have to drive. Thanks to the massive amount of land in Canada. Do you still want to go to Canada or you're convinced you're not going anymore? You're still going? Okay, let's carry on. Let's say something happens, you've started your Canadian immigration process or you are lucky enough. God saw you, you went through the express entry or you went as a as a student or whichever way you went to Canada, a businessman or any other way, then you are blessed. You've gotten your PR. You are now a permanent resident of Canada. But guess what? If you're a permanent resident in Canada, you are not allowed to work in the USA. You can't work in America, but if you're a citizen, you're allowed to wake up in the morning, cross the border, go to America, work, then drive back home. But as a permanent resident, you are not allowed to do that. You just have to work within the borders, inside Canada and not out. Are you going to feel about that? Okay or not okay? I can see, I can see. you are still not convinced. Let's add up a few more points and see how this goes. The job market in Canada is not that good. You will have to work two, three, four jobs for you to be able to pay your bills, for you to be able to stay afloat. Okay, you will work more than two jobs and maybe in your country you're used to, you have one job, you wake up in the morning, you go to work, by five you're done, you're going back home. In Canada, you go to job number one, you do your hours, you move to job number two, you do your hours, job number three, you work your hours, by the time you're done, you get to the house, you cannot even talk to your children, you're tired, you're fed up. It's been a long 24 hours you're back home what happens at the end of the day all the money you've worked so hard for you will pay tax you will pay your rent you will pay bills within a week within a week your salary is finished so it's a cycle it's a cycle you're going around back again to work you're working your three jobs just to stay afloat hmm? And that is if you're lucky because getting jobs in Canada is not that easy. You can tarmac. You can tarmac until you start wondering what happened to my life. 
okay so the same same way you'd find yourself tamaking in your country is the same same way you could easily find yourself tamaking in canada okay so you have to be street smart don't move to canada and then you are like uh, you know i have to work in an office i have to put on a suit my friend if you have to clean oil from the floor you'll have to do it jobs do not come that easy you will have to hustle to find one and you'll hustle and hustle thoroughly before you find one and when you find one it won't be enough still to manage your life you'll go looking for a second one and a third one so all your life it's all about working work working and more work don't go to canada stay where you are <laughs> no i'm serious don't go to canada stay where you are you're okay and even these jobs as you're working them sometimes the pay is not one of the best you'll get a job you're being paid yes but it's not enough so that's why you find yourself going around hacking three four five jobs mm -hmm. but if you're lucky you could get a good paying job but again it depends on how uh, educated you are and how much experience you have and if you know how to work your hustle at job seeking you'll find one actually the next video i'm going to talk about how you can get a job so after this video another one is coming so i'll be giving you guys tips on how to get a job if you're moving to canada you have to bring a lot of money for you to be able to live your canadian dream bring a lot of money because canada is very expensive and um, once you move to canada it is assumed that you will not get your dream job like immediately you will hustle for a bit so as you're hustling you will need money to keep up, to take care of yourself, take care of your family, and then to go out there to look for a job. So if you're moving to Canada, you have to take a lot of money with you. And if you don't have a lot of money, <laughs> stay in your country. Your country loves you, so you can as well just stay in your country. Don't hustle too much. Because Canada wants you to bring a lot of money carry a lot of money with you when you're moving to Canada. Now, if you don't have the money, you don't want to move to Canada, then you just have the basics. You don't want to land like this and immediately you're asking for government support. That will be trouble. And even at the embassy, they will not give you the visa if you don't show them that you have enough money and you can take care of yourself and your family. Now, are you convinced not to move to Canada? Or oh, I should still add more points. Okay, let's carry on. Well, in Canada, there's drinking issue. People drink, and the legal drinking age is 19 years old. But for Alberta, Manitoba, and Quebec, legal drinking age is 18. But you know what? Children start drinking at 13 years old. Are you ready for that? How are you going to take care of your children? You can't close them, huh? They will go to school and they will make friends and they will go for parties. They are 13 and they start drinking. Can you just climatize with that and just keep it in your head that if you move to Canada, your children may as well start drinking when they are 13? But that is culture. It's there. It's happening. How are you going to even deal with that story as a parent? You are coming from Africa. You are used to a certain kind of life. And suddenly, it's not dad who goes out and drinks and comes back home drunk. Now it's your teenage boy or girl coming back home drunk. The only 13, 14, what will you do? You don't want to handle that. Don't go to Canada. Stay where you are. Now moving to Canada, assuming you've moved to Canada from Africa, how many hours of flight? It's like you, you'll be moving to the other side of the world, away from your family and everyone else. Your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your exes, everyone you know, you'll be moving away from them because not everyone moves to Canada. Not everyone can afford to move to Canada. So if you move to Canada, it's like uh, you're going to have a detachment away from everyone else you know. You will walk in the streets of Canada for years. Maybe if you meet someone, you know it's one or two or three. But when you're in your country, anytime you can meet anyone at any other given time. But you move to Canada, you're on your own. Do you want that? Stay in your country. Don't move to Canada. Another thing that will hit you if you move to Canada, and I'm telling you don't, you'll be so lonely. You'll be so lonely and many things will not even make sense. Alone, 
out there in the cold do you still want to go to canada are you convinced yet like seriously let me add one more point one more point and then see if we are getting somewhere what time do you have to start learning a new culture what time that you move from your country to another foreign country called canada and then you start learning the whole culture again you're walking in the streets you have to maintain a happy face smiling because everyone in canada seems to be happy and if you're not used to being nice to people you're going to struggle <laughs> okay so learning a whole new culture christmas will no longer be a time to go out with friends and party and dance disco and all those things no it's going to be a totally different story christmas time you stay home with your family it is cold it's freezing put on your jackets shoes um tan jackets tan pants thermal i don't know what they call them all these things then you have to stay indoors with your family including your pets at home whereas where you're coming from you're used to parties staying out with friends drinking catching up that's the time you get to meet all your friends see during the year everyone is busy christmas is a time for people to come together but out there christmas is a time for families to come together you stay with your wife with your husband with your children and your pets stay at home it's cold it's freezing where do you want to go now do you want that I've given you all the points that I know of telling you why you should not move to Canada. Well guys, you will compare this video and the one I did previously giving you reasons why you should move to Canada. Like I said, the link is down in the description box. Check it out and then make your own informed decision. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me. There's another video which is going to come up. Watch it. I'm sure it's going to be worth your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.